So I'm gonna show you how to code a app that has a web page and a tab bar, and every time you tap on a new tab, there will be a new page. So you're gonna make a new project. You're gonna go to tab bar application to choose. Name whatever I'm just obviously that as untitled. Okay, couldn't do that. Or name it vid. Okay, so depending I'm gonna make two tabs, but before you do that you go to resources to second view that XIB. Just move the trash. And then you're gonna now you're gonna go to uh classes add new file. And you're gonna make it UI view subclass under Coco Touch classes and do next. Gonna name this one um second view controller. So I'm going to do two tabs for the video. You already have a first view, so second view is all you have to make. But um so say you want to have four tabs. You'll do third view controller and fourth view controller. So we're gonna go into first view controller dot h. Go down to hit enter twice. Do ib outlet. Then ui web view. Doesn't always work right. Um, then you're gonna do star. Now, say that you want this to be a Twitter, just type in Twitter and do a semicolon. Do command S. Then you go to your second view controller, hit enter twice, and you're gonna type the same thing IB outlet UI web view. Then you're gonna then you're gonna do star. Now, say you want to just also do something like remote. I don't know. Then you're gonna do command S and save that. And click on resources go to main window dot XIB. Okay, so you're gonna delete all this text that's here. Just delete all of it. And you're gonna delete the second tab bar. And since I'm doing two tabs, you're you're gonna go down Windows Views and Bars since I'm doing two tabs. I'm just gonna drag one tab bar item, and depending on how many tabs you made, you're just gonna keep dragging these in. So I only have two. So on the first one, there's it's white. So that if it's white, then you're just gonna drag a web view under data views to here, and make sure it's centered. And you're gonna make sure the tab is selected, not the UI web view, and make sure it's first view controller. And you can go up to here, just type it in. Then you're gonna go up to here. Where's this? We see Twitter, you're gonna click on here and you're gonna drag that to the UI web view. And you'll see that they're connected. Now you're gonna go to the second one. And you're gonna see that this one just says view, it doesn't have it's not white. So you can go to Windows Views and Bars, you're gonna drag view onto here, and then you're gonna go back to data views, then web view, and you're gonna select the tab, you're gonna go back to the eye, you're gonna do Second view controller. Now, say so you have three tabs, you do third view controller for depending on what number tab it is. Say it's fifth view, fifth, the fifth tab, you made five in here. Then you'll type in fifth view controller. Then you go back here, you're gonna click on whatever you named it. I named it remote because I didn't know what to do it. Then you're gonna go to UI web view. Then press command S, save it, and quit interface builder. So now we go to your first controller dot m. Then you're gonna type in slash space um, parenthesis v o i d void awake from nib. Then you are going to do a brace. Hit enter. Then you're gonna do a bracket. You're gonna type whatever this is. Uh, I think this is Twitter. Yeah, this is Twitter. Load request 
uh, colon, um, bracket, NS URL, request, space, request, with URL, colon, um, no, that's wrong. Then you're going to do more space or more space. Yeah, just do a bracket, do NS URL again, URL. And that's URL space U URL with string um colon at parentheses now whatever you want the site name to be I'll just do twitter.com slash guitar oh you, before you do that you actually have to put HTTP or it won't work. Um, twitter.com slash guitar 4542 and this is again I don't know this is um, quotes and you're going to do in quotes this three times and then do a semicolon and do command s now you're going to go to second view controller dot m go down to hit enter twice and then just go back to here and you are going to go to where it says, oh, and we're not done here. Go back with, and you're going to close it. So you're going to take from here down to here. You're going to copy all that. You're going to go to second view controller, and paste it right in there. And change this from Twitter, I named this one remote. Depending on what you put now, just put what you want over it, put itmdev.com. And then you're going to do command s and command s. Okay, and then um, you're done with that part. You can click on build and go, save all. Give a second. There you go. You got first, which is the Twitter. And then you got this one, which is itemdev.com. Take a second to load. But you can change what it says on there. I just decided not to. Okay. Bye.